follow my fellow streamers. I just made a Facebook post and have I expected so many people to be interested in this plugin? Well, not. So, today I'm going to present you the Smart Lower Thirds for OBS Studio uh, version 2.0, where I have fixed a lot of issues and I have uh, removed the local web, web server support because it's not, uh, it's not needed uh, anymore. Well, without further ado, let's get into setting up the plugin and explaining how it works. So, here we are, guys, with a fresh install of uh, OBS Studio. What are we going to do now? It's install the plugin. So, just get the DLL and move it to OBS Studio. OBS plugins, 64 bit and just paste it, paste the DLL there. Uh, what I also want to do before launching the, the plugin, in my OBS Studio install folder, I will just create a new folder and call it plugin data. And uh, here another new folder, SLT from Smart Lower Third. Okay. I can just close now and restart OBS Studio. Now, if everything goes well, under the docs, you will have this smart rover thirds dock. Click on it and it will look something like this. Just move it wherever you want. And now, to enable the plugin, just click on this icon to select the output folder, we'll navigate to the OBS Studio install, plugin data, and select the folder we previously created. Once the folder is selected, you will see the plus button enabled, and now we can start creating the lower thirds. So, let's create three lower thirds. For now, they all appear on the bottom left corner of, uh, of our uh, source. Let's rename this scene to lower thirds. And as you can see, the, the source was already created, but just in case you delete it for some reasons, or I don't know, something happens, you can just click on refresh browser source and it will place a new browser source directly uh, in your selected scene. Now let's create another scene and call it main. Let's move it on top. And here, let's add our lower third source uh, scene, sorry. Okay. Now this way we can have the lower thirds persistent through all uh, other scenes. We just... Uh, load the scene that contains the source for our lower thirds. Okay, that being done, let's hide all lower, lower thirds and let's start configuring them. Uh, for this one, I would like to show my nickname. Okay. Let's Add a profile picture or something. I just use this one. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have here a automation for the plugin where we can set um, a time span when this lower third will automatically toggle and how long it will stay on screen. So, if I want this to toggle every 30 seconds, Right, 30. And I want to keep it visible for 5 seconds. Okay. Let's select the animation. Um, let's choose this one. And now I'll just uh, leave the fade out down. What I also want to show you is that you can use your custom animation classes that you can create here in the CSS template. Okay, but for now, actually, just choose rotate down. Okay. 
Now, here in the templates, as you can see, we have some placeholders. And if you want to leave the lower third as default, you don't have to do anything on this section. This is for advanced users who want to create uh, beautiful templates for their lower thirds. Let's also change the background to blue and text color can stay white. Okay, if I click save and apply, you will see the lower third is already uh, fired up. So it will be automatically enabled in the next 20 seconds. The next lower third. Um, I don't want to throw the subtitle, so I can ignore this now. Um, let's just go visit my website. And for the profile picture, I will just uh, upload a QR code. Okay. But for this, I have to update the HTML. So I'll remove the subtitle because I don't need it. And for the CSS, I don't want the avatar to have such a big border radius. So I'll just set it to uh, 0.5. Okay, now save and apply, and as you can see, it already edited. What I also want to do on this one is set the visibility, I mean the position to, uh, let's say, top right, save and apply. And then with the last lower third, let's just put it back to the bottom right. Okay, I'll just leave it as a default. And what I want to do for this two, let's also set a hotkey. So I'll just go with Control One, and this one Control Two. Okay. And as you can see, now I can just toggle them using the hotkeys. This makes it easier to use the plugin with your Stream Deck. So that's. Pretty much it about this uh, new version for smart lower thirds. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and stay in touch with my latest plugins releases. Thank you guys for watching. See you on the next video.